Hello everybody, today we've got another World Cup of Pokemon battle. This is Stallion, formerly of Team Oceana, again, now against, against, uh, now on Team Italy, against Laurel of USA Central, it is DVPOU, and, uh, we have a nation that has nothing to do with this battle in it, because the Swampert lead is named Canada. Gliscor wants to run from Swampert lead generally, but it can take an Ice Beam. Uh, even with just max HP, it's like a 12.5% chance to kill. So, you know, you can play those odds and roost a little after you get your rocks. Probably don't want to taunt. Or he can be safe and go to Starmie um, on the rocks. Maybe he doesn't have rocks. You know, taunt U-turn is a thing. I'm just going to want to uh, get rid of these. But uh, I don't like sending Starmie in on Stealth Rockers early in the game, facing a full team, because the Rotoms and T-Tars are just set to fuck your shit up. However, if uh, Laurel is running one of those balance teams, or even offense teams, that has Pert for Rocks and no way of really discouraging Starmie, then you know he might be in business. Uh, we see a pretty nice double switch from Stallion there, you know, fearing the T-Tar. Gliscor against Rotom isn't really bad depending on the set. Um, he can go for Rocks if he has those. He can taunt if he expects a bulky Wisp set, which is not unheard of. Um, not unheard of, excuse me. Um, not unlikely, rather, with Swampert. They w used to be the cornerstone of stall teams a couple years ago. You know, Scarf Hydro, it'll hurt, but it won't quite kill. Of course, you probably would want Gliscor healthy, because if it, this is a Hazards team, then the possibility of Lucario is ever lurking, and Gliscor is the best counter to it. Swords Dance, you know, no agility Ice Punch shit. Um, unless it's Shuka uh, Ice Punch, which is an underrated set, not seen very often. Uh, anyway, Stallion's probably got, you know, a T-Tar or something that, you know, doesn't really care about uh, Rotom, because, you know, you ge generally want some Rotom counters if you're packing Starmie, who gets uh, spin blocked by this uh, washing machine. Uh, he might, you know, say, you know, fuck it, I want my rocks. Uh, you know, he could go to Fortress. He could have a Fortress to spin him away if I, uh, sacrifice myself for them. But, uh, we'll see. It really depends on his team here. Uh, I would say, I would expect, it depends on, um, Laurel's set as well. I mean, he, if he's got a Hydro, then, you know, it's not a bad thing. You know, chase out potential T-Tars. Oh, we see a Kingdra. And a will -O wisp Nice prediction on Laurel's end. Uh, knowing that if uh, he taunts, then you know, no harm done. And if he doesn't, then he inflicts it with a burn. So Finger comes in, and uh, two waters, you know, it's somewhat odd. Um, it, if this Kingra is DD, well, it could be Chesto for sure, which, you know, shrugs off a burn, although it's not really doing much damage against. What appears to be a bulkier... Well, it doesn't... Maybe it's Scarf. Scarf with Wisp is a thing, and he could be, you know, just trying to get the fast burn. So, uh, the score can't kill his Lucario later, or something like that. Um, it could also be Bulky saying, you know, you taught me, then fuck it, no harm done. Uh, but if this is, like, Specs, then something is getting creamed, unless there's a Blissey. And, uh, it won't really kill Swampert either. Specs, you know, more common and uh, likely is Rain Dance Special, which will still hurt a lot, again, if, unless there's a Blissey or a very bulky Shaman. There's a Roserade, and Gliscor comes back, probably going to put the rocks up now. Rose, this is an interesting situation for Rose, you can go for Spikes, because, you know, Taunt, no harm, no foul. Uh, Earthquake, it's, I'm assuming it's a bulky Roserade. It could be offensive with T-Spikes, you know, really fast, lots of special attack. Just the sta pretty much the lead set outside the lead slot and with leftovers or black sludge. Um, that's it could still have T spikes if it's the double spiking variant, but we see spikes. So uh, Gliscor finally gets the rocks up. Although the likelihood of this uh, being offensive is very low now. You know, spikes offensive. It's not unheard of, but spikes and leaf storm are illegal together. So we see taunt. I'm not sure I agree with that because. Um, I would have just Earthquake then, he does get Grass Knotted. I mean, he doesn't love taking Earthquakes, and he probably doesn't want that healthy for the Kingdra. But, you know, Grass Knot's not bad there, on the Taunt. So, um... It's, uh, Roostless Gliscor. Which is... It's a nice set. Um... And, uh... I think it's pretty underrated for uh, more offensive-minded teams. 
uh, you turn out of the Rotom, and if there's a T-Tar, it's going to pick it off now. Because that's, that's a prime position for a T-Tar to come in. Um, but uh, I'm guessing he doesn't really love switching into this Rotom, as uh, evidenced by the Kingdra uh, that came into it last time. And Kingdra's into it this time, taking Rock, Spikes, and Burn. So we don't see uh, Leftovers, so that's probably Choice. I mean, um... There, there are sets like uh, Magnet with Sub, Paint Split, and will o -Wisp that don't have items and, you know, would uh, fall into that category. But, um, we'll see, we'll see. But odds are that this Rotom is going to be faster. Kingdra very, very rarely. Actually, yeah, if it's max speed Rotom, Kingdra can outspeed it. I thought Kingdra had 317 speed for a sec, whoops. But no, it's, uh, it maxes at 295, the same speed as uh, Suicune. So, this Rotom is max speed, it is not going to be getting outrun, and it'll probably kill. The only way I can imagine this Kingdra being bulky enough to survive is if it's Chesto, in which case it's not exactly threatening to kill back. But, um, if it's not, um, if it is that Wisp sub shit, then he could, he could probably go back to Gliscor, seeing, eh, Kingdra's gonna do jack shit. Nope, it's... Not, but uh, Gliscor would have been good there on Teebol, and he can, you know, taunt around or, you know, scout at the Scarf or whatever, since Gliscor is faster than Rotom. Uh, so, there, here comes Gliscor now. Unfortunate waste of a Kingdra. It could have been Death Fodder, you know, he probably said, ah, Kingdra's not gonna do anything. Fuck it, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll let it be fodder, but, you know, um, unless he was afraid of Shadow Ball 2 KOing him or something. Thing is, he can't really do much outside of Taunt. I guess he is expecting um, a switch now so he can U-turn, but uh, I don't think that uh, Laurel has much to lose if he is Scar by just T-bolting again, unless he's expecting an Earthquake, which then again doesn't really shatter his team, considering he's got a full health Swamper. And uh, I guess he doesn't, maybe he doesn't want it to get too much leftovers if it tries to spam that. Oh, it's not! We could be seeing that set I was mentioning. Uh, in comes Zapdos, and we see HP Ice, and, okay, so, I know what team this is, but I will not spoil it for you, the viewer, uh, I will, I will explain, uh, what it is at the end of the battle, um, but I will say that, uh, the last move is Paint Split, and the item is a Culver Berry. And the reason I know this is because... Oh, fuck it. Um, this is a team I made recently and have been using in a couple tournament games and given to a couple friends who have all really liked it. And um, I guess Laurel has taken a liking to it and uh, is using it for his battle. How flattering. But um, I won't reveal the other Pokemon yet, though. So... Well... Yeah, I won't yet. But, uh, this Zapdos is slow, slower than 298 speed, and gets burned. So this Rotom's really going in hard. And can just spam t -ball. It can even get a paint split off here if it so desires. Um, and crippling Zapdos is very good. Uh, and he's got, you know, he doesn't really have to stay in if he doesn't want to. He's got Swampert to come in, but he takes a lot. Oh, we see Toxic Zapdos. Now, that is a rare sight nowadays, but that's a very good set. Unfortunately, that also means Rest Roserade kind of sits on it. And uh, without, like, a really powerful, you know, pursuit or, you know, other things luring it in or, you know, chipping away at it with hazards, he can kind of just come in all game. Nothing on Stallion's team is really, you know, really threatening to it. So. I'm guessing we're gonna see just a switch to Roserade or a T Bowl. I mean, I would probably keep Rotom relatively healthy if it has to fight Starmie one on one. All the likelihood is it'll eventually just get sacked to block Starmie's spin before Scarf Tyranitar, whoopsie daisy, just uh, spoil another poke, uh, comes in and takes it out of the game. So, it's got a couple. I mean, he can also go to Swamper if he doesn't mind eating a Toxic and roar around a little, you know, scout the last two. Because, um,. Well, we know that they don't deal with Rotom well, or at the very least, need to be hidden to the end game. You know, perhaps there's like a Calm Mind Jirachi, seeing as there's no Steel yet, and you know, if you want that to sweep, it can't be taking a Wisp on turn 5. 
So, we'll see. You know, scouting is always good. Um, I'm not sure what's taking him so long. This isn't really a complex draw. I guess he's thinking a few turns ahead, which is uh, good. And people sometimes forget to do that, including myself. So, uh, I appreciate a man who thinks far ahead, but I don't think he really needs to at this point. I mean, nothing wrong with being careful. Oh, we see Infernape. I'm not sure I agree with that. That's an unnecessary reveal, dude. Um, it can't kill Zapdos and will get crippled heavily in return. So, I think just Roserade there would have been fine, considering Roserade is at how much? Full. And, uh, like a heat wave from a bulky set like that is not going to, you know, put it out of commission, not to mention there's Tarso. I don't know what that reveal was uh, really doing. So, uh, it, this can't really kill Zapdos unless it's like Bandit Stone Edge, which I did use on one iteration of the team. Uh, but then I changed it because, you know, not being able to hit Scizor is kind of gay. Uh, although, uh, Fire Move Less Banded Ape is definitely a legitimate set. So, he could... I guess there's not really a... No, he goes for Flare Blitz and he's going to be taken out as Zapdos goes down as well. I mean, cool, but uh, that wasn't really necessary. And Infernape is so dangerous that uh, maybe it might have been maybe he was thinking oh man I'm gonna uh, U-turn out out of the star me trying to switch into this flare blitz or whatever and then I'll finish it off for good and then Ape's gonna wreck but yeah. well I guess if he was really that paranoid of star me then you know not having Ape and taking out his Zapdos and exchange is cool especially since I may as well reveal now that the last uh, Pokemon is I'll keep you in the dark just a little longer um, because that's what a good storyteller does. Or so I hear. Anyway, Rotom coming back in. Roost on Gliscor would make it able to stall it out, um, as HP ice, you know, does less and less. Uh, while Toxic War is down, or, you know, you would have to engage in a haunt battle to, you know, avoid Wisp. But if you could get high enough, then, you know, maybe he could do that. But, uh, he's just gonna straight U-turn, and... If Kangaroo was switching in earlier, I am not loving the options here, or so I would imagine. Them. I mean, I would guess one is a steal, certainly not Heat Trainer, that would have come in a long time ago. So, you know, perhaps like a Calmine Jirachi, like I said earlier, or uh, Bronzong, uh, which, you know, cool. Um, hey, there's Jirachi, man, I am good at this. Um, I'm really modest. Trust me, so are we gonna see that we do see leftover, so that is Calm Mind. So Oh I assume it's Calm Mind. It could also be uh what's it called? You know, some sort of offensive flinch set or spadef. But I would I would imagine Calm Mind here. Since he wants some more setup power, since this team doesn't really do a hell of a lot. We see Wish, you know, Wish Calm Mind, that's definitely plausible. Uh, perhaps he wishes to star me here, since this Metagross is a gel. Not that he knows that, but this Metagross is Rock Polish, Earthquake, Zen Headbutt, Ice Punch, uh, with Shuka Berry, so it can't really touch star me. And, uh, so he, although Stallion doesn't know that, but I don't really see a better option. I guess he could try and heal up Gliscor and an assumed Earthquake, and that's what he does. We see the rock polish, I am not sure about that. I mean, he's going to kill Gliscor now, and I guess it took a turn of prediction, but Starmie's at full for rocks and spikes, and he doesn't want those rocks and spikes. I guess he could relay them relatively simply, but you know, he can probably just get rid of it with Tyranitar. A good move from Stallion here would be to switch to Starmie, because Metagross does not have Ice Punch and Thunder Punch on the same set. So, I mean, it's... Not a bad idea, but it's not seen. So, uh, unfortunately, Gliscor bites the dust, and Earthquake wouldn't have done very much damage, although Stallion had no way of knowing that, since so the standard is Life Orb or perhaps Lum. But uh, Shuka, I run Shuka on this team because it is a great emergency check with so many dangerous supers. Anyway, Starmie's in now, and Metagross can't really do this anything to this besides crit it with Earthquake, so I would imagine we're going to see a switch to uh, perhaps Roserade, you know, for take any prediction games out. Uh, well, I guess he can also 
earthquake. I guess he was sort of obligated to recover there, so he could have gone to Tyranitar or uh, maybe Rotom or even Roserade. I don't know what he's doing here. This is just letting Metagross get weakened for no reason. Uh, since he can go into what's his, what's his face, um, Roserade and just restack Spike. And you know what's Stallion gonna switch to? You know the Jirachi. The Jirachi gets stuffed by like three different things, especially since it's burned. So he can take that uh, Spike back. He can put that Spike back up, uh, and that would have you know not had Metagross get weakened. So Earthquake is doing nothing, and I don't know why he's still spamming it. Considering, I mean, he, I mean, I, he doesn't have to go for the crit at all, not by a long shot, but he gets it. That's, not gonna lie, that's kind of annoying to see. Because he didn't have to do that at all, but he did. But, um, what can you do? I guess there was a lot of, um, a lot of turns that he could have crit, but still, that's annoying. Because he didn't have to, he was throwing away his Metagross. Um, when he had so many op other options that were better. So we have a Scizor last, and Scizor without, um... Infernape, and that's why this Infernape sack is might bite him in the ass, uh, especially when he didn't need it to. I mean, what's what's Toxic Zap that's really doing, especially when the last is Tyranitar? Since um, this uh, Metagross cannot break through Scizor, does not have explosion. If it's bulky as the roofs, which is you know very threatening. Uh, of course, if it's Choice Band, then you know not much he can really do. But both the SD Roost, since the Rotom is at how high? 58 before rocks and poison. And I guess Roserade can take a bullet punch and... Oh, it is Roost. Oh man, Laurel's in trouble. That Infernape Sack's gonna bite him in the ass. Because Roserade, it can take a plus two bullet punch, but HP Fire won't kill back. And, you know, he can kind of heal afterwards. Or he can roar it out with Swamp Hurt, that's cool. Um, but that's a temporary solution to a more long-lasting problem. So, we're gonna see- and not to mention, it's not completely free because that bug bite fucking hurts. So, what he can do here is go to Jirachi and wish up so Scizor can get a wish as it SDs and stay really healthy. And, uh, you know, as, long, as soon as he lets this die, then, you know, last month Scizor I guess he has to keep Rotom at a high enough health, well, obviously. Rotom, if it's at high enough health, then uh, it can burn a Scizor. So, well, it depends on the attack of Eevees, and I would guess that's a pretty nice chunk. We see Wish, we see Roar. We see, you know, Scizor back in. Are we going to see a Bullet Punch? A bullet punch, excuse me. Bug bite uh, on another roar, which gives Jirachi the wish and the option to wish again, actually. Um, also, Rotom will pepper, you know, Scizor with lots of um, Will O Wisp and T Bolts, which, you know, it won't appreciate, but it can get more SDs. Although, granted, it might keep it low enough to where Metagross will kill it. But he might be able to overwhelm it. Might. Uh, he also might consider going for Psychic here. Uh, well, I guess not, I guess it really works. I, he's probably figured out the last is Tyranitar. Nothing really fits as well as the T-Tar does there. Uh, Scarf and Bug Bite. And Scizor is at full. So here comes Roserade. And he can go to Jirachi, which is, you know, at full. And uh, I, I think he should definitely go to Jirachi because Scizor is bulky. But it cannot beat Roserade 101, Bulky Raid. Uh, so, Jirachi, and Bulky Raid is also slower than even the Bulky Jirachi, so no worries there. Jirachi is at 70 before Rock Spikes and, you know, Lefty's Recovery, then Burn Damage. So, I think he will do okay. Uh, and, you know, he'll weaken it with a Psychic, which, you know, it won't kill, but it'll most certainly 
throw it into a bullet punch range or something, or he could even SD and then bullet punch, you know, to get an extra turn of leftovers and the boost, which he'll need uh, to fuck with Scarf Tar, uh, which I think dies after it should die after rocks to plus two BP. Oh, he's going right for the dance. I don't know, man. Uh, it's not gonna kill. Maybe he's going for the last Mon Jirachi sweep. That is a feasible plan. However, he better be faster than uh, two. Maybe he doesn't have Psychic, and that's why... Maybe he has Flash Cannon. Um, his team doesn't love facing Titar, so I could definitely see that. But, and if it's bold, well, then it's probably not faster than 263 and is taking the Earthquake. I don't know. So, I, I think going to Jirachi was better there. So... You know, he could have pulled the Wish trick, so he wished an SD on the same turn, and he barely lives, and, uh, so I think, well, Wish Call Mind Jirachi has, you know, pulled Miracles before, so, we'll see. Uh, he can, you know, go, he needs to go for a Wish, first of all, but, hmm, definitely a Wish, and I think Laurel's better play. I think the... I forget whether I run Super Power or Earthquake on that train. Or if it's Earthquake, then, you know, no contest. Even if it does have Flash Cannon. The Burn's just going to be chipping away at it. Wish, Calm Mind. So I think Metagross is the best move. Yeah. Since if it's uh, faster than Metagross, it is probably not... Oh my... Oh, wow, that does a lot. I uh, overestimated Jirachi's without significant uh, investment in special defense. So even Calm Mind won't save it. Oh, he does have Psychic, so Tarantar is definitely finishing it off. Uh, maybe he's hoping, you know. Um, T Bolt won't kill, and Earthquake will finish this up. So, um, good game to both. I was not a fan of some of Laurel's moves. Oh, wow, it lives. What a bulky ass fucking. And it's faster than 262. So, um,. Nice game, I was I was not a fan of some of the shit, you know, the plays and whatever. But uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you later.